Good morning, your Hang Iron Wheel vlog, your place to find tips, tricks, and experience in triathlon, multi sport, and endurance events and training. So I want to start off first of all by saying a ginormous thank you to all my subscribers. Last week I hit the milestone of 200 subscribers on my channel, which yeah, that may not be a ton of subscribers for other channels, but to me that is absolutely massive. And I just want to say a huge thank you to everyone who has supported me, subscribed to me, commented, liked, even disliked my channel in any way. It's awesome that you've brought me so far. I've been doing this for about a year now, just over a year. And I'd love to keep going and see where this takes me. Apologies, I didn't put out a main video this week. I've had a ridiculously busy week and I just needed to catch up on a whole bunch of stuff. But don't worry, I will be back into it very soon. One thing that is a little different this week, so as I mentioned in my last vlog, I signed up to a gym. So here I am outside my new gym. It's the Snap Fitness, which is Haberfield. Got a big sign up there as well. And this gym is it's part of the Snap Fitness chain. So there's a chain of Snap Fitnesses all around the world. And you can sign up to one gym and then you can go to whichever gym you want out of that range of gyms. So it works out for me since you know I work out sort of west of Sydney, I live in the inner west, and then I also do Kung Fu in the actual city center. So I'm all over the place. I can't really dedicate myself to just a single gym. And one of the reasons why I think the gym is very important for me to sign up for at the moment is I've just been feeling a little bit burnt out from the triathlon training, especially run training. When I try and think of, you know, what's my exercise going to be today? Oh, a 10 kilometer run. It's not really enthusing me um, right now. So I needed to mix it up a bit. That's one of the things that can help uh, bring fire back into your training is to change things up. So uh, unity and contrast. So unity is doing the same thing. That is what sort of creates some sort of interest. But if you do too much of the same thing, it can get a bit dull and a bit boring. So that's where you have to have some contrast. So for me, I needed a bit of contrast and I really felt like I needed to do weights training. So I'm back at the gym doing weight training and really loving it. So it's kind of reinvigorated me for my exercise. So let's get in there. So this is the gym. Uh, right now there's nobody here, luckily. So got the whole place to myself, which is kind of interesting. It's a smallish gym at Snap Fitness. So they've got sort of a functional fitness cardio area down here. They've also got like the sled push thing. And they do classes and that sort of stuff down here as well. And then the other side of the gym is the weights area. So I'm going to be using both. Um, I'm using weights quite a bit at the moment because I haven't done that for a while. Really enjoy the weights. So got all your free weights, bars, etc, etc. One of the cool things about this gym as well is they've got a special running machine which I will bring you to right now. So it's this one here and it's called the skill mill. So on this thing it doesn't actually take speed so it's like a treadmill but you don't actually input a speed. This keeps up with you. So you run, kind of a U-shaped sort of thing, and you run at the front, and that pushes the treadmill back. So you can go on here, and then it's, it's much more like real running, or sort of outdoor running, but indoors. So especially if it's raining, this is great. Or if I just don't feel like running outdoors, like at the moment, this is great. Since you can run fast, it keeps up with you, then you can slow down, walk. It's excellent as a, an outdoor running replacement. It's probably the closest you're going to get to outdoor running at the moment. Uh, feels a bit like running uphill. Because it's constantly going up that little bit of a slope. It's quite good. Quite interesting. A little bit tough to get used to in the first couple of minutes, but then once you get used to it, it's awesome. Now I know that doing weight training puts on sort of bulk, and that's not ideal for running cycling. Uh, where you want to be as slim as possible since that creates the fastest speed but I don't care too much like I'm doing the triathlon for the fun of it 
uh, and also for the fitness side of it. And at the moment, since I'm not really feeling that enthusiastic about going outdoors and running and cycling and swimming for the moment, coming in here and putting on weight doesn't really matter too much. What I want to do is to get fit. And muscle can also be one of those things that helps burn fat faster. So the more muscle you have, the more fat you burn. And that's the main thing I need to do at the moment is burn the fat. I used to do quite a bit of weight training uh, a couple of years ago. So going back to the gym and doing all this weight training, it feels quite natural to me, which is good. Other small benefits of being at the gym. So because I run in minimalist shoes, I'm still currently wearing my Kung Fu slippers from the marathon the other week. I have taken them off. It's not that I'm still wearing them. It's just that I enjoy wearing these shoes and doing exercise in these shoes and just generally wearing these shoes. I wear them everywhere. But you get these sorts of machines. So where it's actually the leg press, but if I put just my toe on the edge, then that works out the muscles that absolutely need the workout. Back in 2017, when I did the Guinness World Record title for the fastest marathon run in a Kung Fu uniform, which unfortunately I missed out on this year by 25 minutes, uh, back in 2017, I was using that machine all the time, strengthening my calf muscles all the time. And so I think that's one thing that was missing from my training this time was my calf muscles just weren't as strong, strong. Thanks for watching. If you want swim, bike, run, and exercise content every week from here in Australia, then hit that like and subscribe button, and I will see you in the next one. Cheerio.